Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's me back again with another raw review. And uh, honestly, guys, this raw was fucking. I didn't really care for it too much. Uh, it was kind of off the wall. You know, you got storylines going here, you got storylines going there. You know, I just don't know what the fuck to think. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, let me just get into it. Uh, they first opened up with Triple H coming out. Uh, they show the back of the locker room. Uh, there was nobody there. No, the wrestlers are all in the parking lot, supposedly, uh, according to Triple H. Uh, he said that he wasn't going to quit. Uh, you know, I didn't care if he had to wrestle a broomstick for two hours, that he would do it. You know, I took a shot at the, the locker room in the back. You know, a lot of people made a big deal about this shot he did about into the locker room but you know you expect him to be nice to them since they you know they walked out and voted no confidence in him so you expect him to be nice I mean it's part of the storyline guys chill out um anyways uh this cut a promo about him you know he's not gonna leave and yada 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 and then Cena came out basically said the same thing you know he's here for the fans uh, Sheamus too came out and so did CM Punk. Uh, the opening segment was actually pretty good. You know, uh, you know, CM Punk said, you know, I kind of started this walkout kind of thing, but I did it in a different way. You know, I, you know, I didn't run. I came to wrestle. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, so Triple H made a match, and it was going to be uh, Cena versus Sheamus. Triple H was going to be the special ref, and CM Punk was going to be on commentary. I thought that was going to be excellent, you know, uh, just, I was just waiting to hear CM Punk on commentary, they went to a commercial break, and then when they came back, this happened, Vince McMahon shows up, Vince McMahon shows up in the middle of the ring, tells everybody to leave, says that he talked to the board of directors, and they don't have confidence now in Triple H, because they don't want to lose money, and all this kind of stuff and he announces a interim GM and it's John Laurinaitis and I wasn't happy about that uh, you know I guess it's a good thing cuz it's an interim but I mean John Laurinaitis out of all the guys you could have picked why him um, I guess because he is a heel and a lot of the guy a lot of the fans don't like him so maybe they're trying to that figure something out for summer. Uh, sorry, Survivor Series, but I don't, I don't fucking like it. Um, after that, he, uh, he, uh, you see all the they go do a shot to the back, and you see all the wrestlers coming back into the locker room, and you see Morrison. Uh, kind of doubts Laurinaitis, but then Laurinaitis gives him the match, which he seemed happy about. But I don't know why, because he knows he's gonna get jobbed over. He ended up facing Christian. Both were in their street clothes, which was kind of weird seeing a wrestling match in street clothes. Uh, yeah, he got Morrison got uh, squashed by Christian, and then was attacked and uh, by Ziggler, Swagger, and Cody Rhodes. They all did their finisher after uh, the match. So I don't know where what's going on with John Morrison. I don't know if they're just gonna have him to where he's just so frustrated that he just goes crazy and he turns hill. And, or if they're just trying to get him out of WWE, I don't know. Honestly, I feel sorry. For, I'm sorry. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for him. You know, I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do with him. You know, he has potential. He does need to work on his mic and and and, and uh, his promos. But other than that, he's an excellent wrestler. Uh, I honestly, what I would do, uh, I would have him somehow turn on Triple H somehow, maybe cost him a match, and then join up with R-Truth and The Miz. That would be pretty interesting. But, uh, you know, that shit ain't gonna happen. Um, after that, it was uh, they had another rematch, Mark Henry versus Randy Orton. Uh, Henry had a promo before the match saying that he's not gonna be intimidated, not even by the Big Show, which is announced that at Vengeance is gonna be Big Show at versus Mark Henry for the championship. Yay! That's uh the last guy I really wanted to see uh face uh Mark Henry in a match. I know they 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 might have a decent match. They had one uh when they faced I think they fought uh God I can't remember when they fought each other. But uh that was a pretty good match. 
So um, I'm hoping this one will be too, but I'm not too excited about that. They also announced Del Rio versus John Cena for the World Championship. Why? 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 Why give Cena another fucking title shot? And why give him a title shot at the fucking pay-per-view I'm going to? I'm not going to enjoy that at all. Ugh, that just fucking pisses me off. But uh, anyways, back to the Mark Henry Randy Orton match. It was all right. Went I don't even think it went more than five minutes. Uh, Cody Rhodes ended up attacking Randy. Um, they even put a bag over his head. That was excellent. Um, I really hope they have a Randy Orton uh, Cody Rhodes match for the IC title at Vengeance. That would be awesome. Um, but other than that. That wasn't very long of a match to even really talk about. Like I said, guys, this Raw was kind of a letdown. Uh, I just, I really didn't feel it. I really didn't feel it at all. Uh, next match was the fucking Divas, Kelly Kelly and E versus uh, Tamine and Rosa. I think that's her name, or Tamina. <sighs> Horrible botches. Fucking Kelly Kelly screaming the whole goddamn match. What else do I have to say? It was fucking garbage. Um, after that, Laurinaitis came down. Um, and fired JR. Get another cheap heat on him. Make him even more stronger of a heel. Why fucking fire JR? <sighs> he actually made that commentary a, you know, a little bit better. Oh, uh, man. Michael Cole last night was so fucking annoying. I couldn't even stand him. I almost thought about muting my goddamn TV. He was just... He was so annoying. And it... it oh. Half the time, he doesn't even fucking talk about the wrestling match. He talks... You know, he just talks nonsense and talks shit to everybody. You know what? I just... I don't understand why they have him out there. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, even when they have all three of them in, in there with Booker T and Lawler, they're they're arguing the whole time. <sighs> so anyways, after that, we had a three-on-three -three tag match with Mason Ryan and Air Boone. Yes, Air Boone got a new uh, uh, song or theme song. Yay. It's fucking garbage. I don't really care for it. And they... Faced Swagger, Ziggler, and Otunga. I call him Otunga Mr. Two Seconds because that is all he gets in the ring for. He either gets in the ring for a breakup or to distract the ref, and that's it. He is garbage. Otunga is so garbage. I mean, like, I could be a wrestler if Otunga is a wrestler. I mean, golly. Oh, and the match was all right, I guess. Uh, Mason Ryan kind of fucked up with Swagger trying to put him on the ropes. You know, Mason Ryan even got the pin. Bourne took a nasty powerbomb from Swagger. But uh, why get Mason Ryan over? I do not like Mason Ryan. I think he's too buff. I think he looks nasty. I don't like his haircut. You know, it just looks stupid. You know, he's limited in the ring. He's no Batista. Uh, I'm sorry, I know I'm dogging a lot of... I'm just dogging WWE right now, but that's what they deserve after this Raw. It was shitty. <sighs> after that match, we got the Del Rio versus CM Punk. Uh, I think out of two minutes into the match, Lauren Itis came down and said that uh, he's making this a tag match. It was going to be Del Rio and Punk versus the guys he just now reinstated, Miz and R-Truth. Um, I want you guys' opinion. You think they brought back uh, Miz and R Truth a little bit too early? You you let me know. Uh, comment down below, please let me know. Um, the match ended up being all right, I guess. Uh, Del Rio ended up leaving CM Punk in the middle of the match, so it was two on one. They basically just just attacked uh, Punk and got a DQ. Triple H came down and made the save, and at the end of the show, Lauren Alice announced that it will be. A tag match at Vengeance with Triple H uh, and CM Punk versus Miz and Our Truth. I think that could be interesting if we see maybe a swerve between Triple H and CM Punk. You know, maybe if we see CM Punk turn on Triple H or something like that, that would be pretty awesome. But uh, so far, these Vengeance matches haven't really got me too excited. I'm really glad that I got tickets to WrestleMania. 
to get over this maybe let down of a pay-per-view that I'm going to. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, this Raw was not very good, to, in my opinion. You know, a lot of people had mixed reviews about it. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. Uh, I just don't like how they're just, you know, coming up with storylines. And it's just like they don't know what, what they want to do. You know, they want to do this. And then, you know, oh, no, no, let's change it and just do that. And it's just I think the last minute kind of shit they're doing is fucking shit up. And uh, all the matches, I think, on Raw Monday night, sucked you know they none of them really caught my eye you know last week we had that awesome six man tag match or oh, I'm sorry that 12 man tag match you know this was a very fucking let down raw and it doesn't get any better with the way they're looking at the way they're looking at things going it's just I don't I don't really I don't I just I don't know what to say this raw kind of made me speechless honestly you know I don't I just don't know what to say. Um, hopefully next week we'll we'll get more answers more than fucking questions this time. But honestly, I don't think we're really gonna find out anything till after Vengeance and leading up to Survivor Series because that's one of their big four pay per views and they you know they're gonna win by so they're gonna probably be throwing everything out in that time frame so. Yeah, that's about it. You know, that's uh, kind of a letdown raw. I mean, you could tell in my attitude that it was a letdown raw. But, um, I mean, the best thing so far... Uh, sorry if you can hear my dryer buzzer going off during this video. Um, is I also recently got this Zack Ryder doll. <laughs> that's probably the light of my day, is that. And... Uh, it's not even the one that he likes, so that sucks. But uh, yeah, that's the end of my video. Uh, oh, uh, when the HBK and Bret Hart DVD does come out, I will be redo. I uh, will do a review of that um, DVD because I can remember that DVD. Uh, I'm not sorry, that pay per view like it was yesterday. It was in '97. <laughs> I was I was a young lad, 13, 14 years old. So, you know, I I'm really excited. I really want to see this. So, um, I'll definitely be doing a uh, a video about it when it comes out and I watch it in full. Uh, I, I a friend of mine uh, got me a site where I could download it already. Uh, I think they leaked this uh, leaked it out already, but uh, I want to get it and watch it on my television and have the experience of a regular DVD you know I'm cheesy like that but I don't really want to sit there and watch it on my computer but uh yeah that's about it I know this video is gonna suck I know the views on this video is gonna suck but everybody thanks for uh, watching my video thanks for commenting uh, please let me know what you thought about raw I'm sure I'm gonna see a lot of negative comments I'm sure um, I'm a little bit excited about this pay-per-view only because of the Miz uh, R Truth tag match with uh, CM Punk and Triple H. That's about it. And maybe that will see Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton at Vengeance. That is the match that I'm hoping for. And if they have that match on, at Vengeance, I will be happy. That will make my pay per view. But um, other than that, you guys have a good one. I will chat with you guys next Monday. and oh, I'm sorry, next Tuesday. And hopefully. Let's pray that we have a better all. Thank you, guys.